Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Let's continue the whole challenge thing that we've been doing. I think Darkness Falls is the last challenge that unlocks a rune that's actually, like, really good. Uh, you start as Eve, and you actually start with a bunch of damage upgrades. So you start with Pentagram and with Dark Matter, and you also start with Sacrificial Dagger. So, like, you start off really strong, but you don't get any item rooms, and you have to go all the way to Satan. Starting out with an immediate tears down pill is not uh, exactly what I was hoping for, if I'm being honest. Let's check our cursed room. I'd say that was worth it. We are going to get... Uh, there we go. Um, and honestly, our damage is good enough where I don't feel like I need to be in Babylon state to kill enemies right now. So I'm going to save my HP for the time being. But we do have the razor blades, so once we go fight the boss, we'll switch over into, uh, we'll, we'll use the razor blade to hurt ourselves, get down to one single red heart, and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, wouldn't mind buying that spirit heart, honestly. We're definitely going to want to go deals with the angel on this run as well, I think. Just because we start with such a small amount of HP, and we're not likely to get any extra HP from item rooms, obviously, given that there are none. Uh, so the only way we can really get HP is going to be, like, eternal hearts and, I guess, you know, boss items. Uh, which isn't great. Alright, so we got pin. This should be... A super easy fight. Because we're doing 10 damage on the first floor. Yeah, you're already dead. And you actually did give me another damage upgrade and an eternal heart. So that's pretty sweet. Um, okay, down to the next floor we go. Honestly, pretty okay first floor. Getting that tears down kind of stinks. But we did get a eternal heart out of it. So I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, and you know what? I'm I'm actually fine going into uh, Babylon State here. We do have the extra uh, black heart to provide us a little bit of protection. There's a tinted rock here if we can find a bomb at like any point over the course of this floor. And having all the extra damage from being in Babylon State means that um, okay careful uh means that basically we can kill these enemies before they can really become a major threat to us also for those of you i know that there were uh, a number of people who joined this series late uh which is totally fine welcome if you're new ish to isaac uh when i'm referring to babylon state if you look on the right side of the screen there's an item that looks kind of like a moon that item is called something bad of babylon and uh, basically the way that works is if you have low enough red hearts, it gives you a very significant damage and speed boost. And the way that this particular character plays is you basically are trying to constantly stay in that state so that you can get a significant amount of extra damage. Oh, careful. Can we just, like, get in here with uh, Sack Dagger and just get rid of you that way? Okay, we got a question mark card. That's not particularly great. That will basically give us... Uh, it, it, like, duplicates the effect of your space bar item, which, given that our space bar item uh, damages us, is <laughs> not really something... We, and also doesn't have a charge time. You know, it's not great, but it's fine. We'll just hold on to it for now. Maybe we'll come across a space bar item at some point that actually will do something good for us. In which case we can put... Oh, that was just... That was me being greedy. Take your time, self. It is a challenge. You don't have to be in a rush. Uh, I'm actually not even going to go into the deal. I want to guarantee that we can get a deal with the angel on our next deal. So we're going to completely skip this. And especially given that we have Curse of the Blind, so I can't see what item it would be in there, I don't feel bad about it at all. Uh, so let's go down 
to one red heart. Now we've got Curse of Darkness, so everything is a little bit darker than it would otherwise be, but that's fine. Uh, don't think I care about going into the Cursed Room here. And as long as we're in Babylon State, we actually are pretty speedy as well. Ooh, Safety Scissors. Actually a decent trinket. Turns Troll Bombs into regular bombs after a short delay. So troll bombs are no longer a threat to us, which is, you know, pretty useful because troll bombs always do pop up at some point. They're not super uncommon. And they can be annoying. And it turns them into regular bombs, which means you actually get bombs out of them as well. It doesn't just make it so they can't hurt you. It actually makes it so you get consumables out of troll bombs. So pretty good. Okay. There's a spirit heart in that room that we can't get to. Unless we can find some way to fly. Okay, there we go. Where's this last one? Not too bad. Alright, High Priestess card. We can use that to basically one-shot the boss. Like so. And I'd say that was well worth it, because this boss can be a little annoying. Um, we'll take Pageant Boy. It's going to give us some money, which will allow us to take a peek at our shop and see what was in here. Because now we can actually afford to buy something if there's something in here we want. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here we want, though. Maybe Piggy Bank, but eh. I just don't think it's that worth it. All right, let's just move on to the next floor. And the run's like, it's okay. It's not bad. Okay, this is not actually, this actually is not a room we care about having an extra damage bonus because there's no enemies. Okay, this is a little scary. Because when these guys die, they explode into shots that kind of go everywhere and then the spikes can make it a little difficult to navigate, but it's fine. Okay, what do we got in here? Again, nothing I really care about, but I will buy a spirit heart. Uh, I'm not going to buy a key. I think we're... Well, maybe I'll go back and buy a key if we make it through the whole floor and there's... Uh, you know, we don't... We haven't picked up another one. Okay, this is another one of those rather annoying rooms. These guys are going to explode when they die. So we just basically need to make sure that when they explode, they don't explode right next to us. <laughs> Hey, got a key. Okay. These guys are going to try and chase us down. But we are... Oh, there's mini pins as well. Okay. That caught me a little bit by surprise, but it's fine. If we can just kill the mini pins, I'll be feeling pretty good. You're dead. All right, there we go. Let's check this, uh, the uh, sacrifice room over here. Nothing great. I'll pick up one red heart, just so in this room we can pop the razor blade, because the razor blade does actually give you an extra damage bonus on top of uh, knocking you down to Babylon range. So, you know, it's sometimes worth it to pick up red hearts for that reason. But if we could get, like, some good defensive items from, like, a deal with the angel, that would be ideal. I was going to say, we got to be getting close to our boss up here somewhere. Let's throw down a bomb right here. I don't think it's worth it to spend a bomb to get two cents. But a bomb to get a couple of keys. And then let's also check here for a secret room. It's not there. Okay, fair enough. So the boss is Peep. Who is uh, somewhat annoying. But we've got good enough damage that I'm not, like, super worried. Hopefully he gives us a tears upgrade so we can shoot faster. 
Because our rate of fire right now is pretty bad. Alright, this is a little spooky. Alright, we made it. It's so nice to have good speed. I gotta be honest, I just recorded the tank challenge, like, five minutes before this run started. And it having speed and being able to move without just being, like, ridiculously slow is so nice. Hey, rate of fire. Very nice. Okay. I'm also going to grab this. Let's pop in here. We get Monstrance, which is pretty good. And then let's blow this guy up because we want more deals with the Angel if possible. We'll pop you. And thankfully, it's the easy Angel, not the super difficult one. Dead Bird is getting in there and doing what Dead Bird does, which is admittedly not much. There we go. Take the key piece. That will give us a better chance of be of uh, getting deals with the Angel in the future. And then uh, I think we're just out. We're on to the next floor. We got a ton of Spirit Hearts. Monstrance is a pretty okay item. It gives us a, a damaging aura around us. So enemies that get close to me will take a lot of damage very quickly. I don't think that's worth it. Like, the run is pretty okay. We haven't gotten a whole lot of items that just don't do anything. And actually, Monstrance combined with Sack Dagger, like, if we get in there for Sack Dagger damage, they're going to be taking so much damage. Ow. That, that hurt a little bit, but it's okay. Um sure. Golden chests and stone chests are one of your few sources of potential damage and or rate of fire increases on challenge runs, because you don't get item rooms on the vast majority of them. Which is part of what makes them a challenge. So I think it's worth it to spend a bomb and a key to open a golden chest. Gotta be real careful of the brimstony spiders over here. go. Okay, there's our shop. Uh, I think I'd rather stick with safety scissors. Again, nothing in here I'm super interested in. I'll just buy a spirit heart. Just, you know, make sure our HP stays, stays uh, kind of topped off, so to speak. And then we just need to avoid getting hit by the turret. There we go. And we're only going to get one more shop after this, so that's a thing to consider. I do see a tinted rock. Right there. Okay, well, we ended up trading one bomb for two bombs. I guess that's fine. Golden Horseshoe. Chance to get double item room on the next floor. I mean, given that we don't get item rooms, I don't find that that useful. And I think I'm going to stick with the Chariot card over the... Um, over the Empress card. Oh, you're, you're bouncing over here. Okay. Okay. You're not bouncing in a predictable manner, and I don't like it. There we go. Sacrificial dagger. Doing work. Sure. Okay, yeah, this is terrifying. Oh, that's right, we had safety scissors. <laughs> I was like, oh no! Uh, do I want safety? I think I'd rather have safety scissors over the matchbook, honestly. I think it's a little bit more upside. Keeps us safe from troll bombs. Don't think we really care about any of this. Uh, might as well use the Blood Bank to go down to Babylon State, though. Because then we at least get a little bit of a benefit for it. And actually, we do have that Chariot card. So maybe it would be worth it to do that as well. Yeah, let's do it.
I don't know that we're going to have an opportunity to actually spend any of this money, but what else are we going to use the chariot card for? Okay. Made it. What do we got? Not much. Okay. I guess the boss and everything else is over this direction. Try going up first. I would like it if you stopped summoning flies and things. What's this? Elge's rune? That is actually really good. That is 30 seconds of invincibility. That could basically win us the run. If we if we make it to the uh, the Satan fight and we still have this Elge's room, we should be able to pretty much just win. So we're going to hold on to this for a while. And that's also something that we've unlocked by doing these challenge runs. That's the whole reason we're doing these, is to unlock the runes and other useful things that we can encounter along the way. Okay, this is a little bit of a scary room. Mostly just because of the turrets. There we go. Uh, that's a tears down. We don't want that. Mini pins? Mini pins. Like when you walk into a room and there are no enemies <laughs> that you can see, it kind of narrows it down. You're like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. We should be okay, though. Okay. So far, so good. None of that now. I mean, we're like... Oh, okay. You did. You, you got me there. That's fair. But we're really close. We're like two hits away from... There we go. Beautiful. All right. So we take this. We pop in here. How are we doing on time? Pretty good. I think out of these, you definitely take Blood of the Martyr. It's more damage, which we can always use. Uh, and then we will blow you up as well. Uh, and I will pop this thing. And then we want to probably at least take a peek at Boss Rush and see what's in there. Given that it could be one of our only opportunities to get, you know, some, like, ridiculously good item. There's not a whole lot of items that I would do Boss Rush for. But there are a couple. That's not any of them. <laughs> no, none of those are, are worth uh, doing that many waves of bosses for. Basically, it would have been like one of the game winning items. Tech X. Um, Ipecac, maybe. You know, etc, etc. So there's not a lot of items that we would have done it for. But you definitely want to at least peek. And see. The negative is uh, pairing pretty well with the razor blade here. That's what's killed those last couple rooms. Okay, this is not the room I'm a huge fan of. That actually worked out better than I thought it would. Okay, get rid of those dudes first. Then we worry about the rest. Okay, we got brimstoney spiders. Easy peasy. Stupid turrets. Every time. They get me every time. Okay. That was not great. Alright, 
here's our boss. Uh, let's just go fight the boss. It's Skolex, it looks like. Monstrance is actually going to be really good in this fight. Oh, dude. These little guys. Because I can do a lot of damage to the tail. Uh, excuse me. Right, you're dead. Uh, I'll gladly take the HP upgrade. And at this point, we're unlikely to get more, uh, another deal. So I think we look and see what's in here. And the answer is nothing we particularly care about. I mean, then again, the shovel has some merit. But that would involve losing the razor blade, and I don't think that's worth it. So yeah, I think we, uh, we just move on. Uh, also, let's look... How many bombs do I have? Quite a few. Let's check here for a secret room. Okay. Uh, just a lot of HP. Meh. Was kind of hoping for, like, some black hearts or some spirit hearts, but that's okay. And at this point... I'm kind of tempted to not use the razor blade and to kind of save our HP. Because we only have a, a couple non-razor blade uh, hearts, or a, a couple non-red hearts, I guess you would say. Which is a little spooky, and our damage is pretty bad. But we do have monstrance... Oh, dude. Stupid turrets. We do have monstrance and sacrificial dagger. Which can do a lot of work. Let's go up. Alright, we got... A sacrifice room there. Which we will want to check. Could be a spirit heart in there or something like that. Ooh, careful. We really want to save this Elge's rune for the Satan fight, if at all possible. Because it does make a huge difference. Like, 30 seconds is a long time. That is a very long time to be completely invincible. Doesn't work on sacrifice rooms, unfortunately. We can basically just let Monstro do all the work here. But this is unfortunately a dead end. Hierophant card? Stars card. Okay. Not exactly what we were hoping for, but it's fine. Just got a chest. Just some money. Eh. Again, not exactly what we were hoping for. Just an empty room. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go this way. Easy enough. Probably a secret room here. Right? No, not this, not the secret room. I thought at first I missed it. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to throw a bomb right there, blow all these up. Was kind of hoping for, like, a single spirit heart. Although, the odds of that actually happening are pretty low, so I can't say I'm surprised. You very rarely get spirit hearts out of those from blowing them up. It is possible, though. Let's check here for a secret room. There it is. Okay, just some bombs. Uh, probably worth it to throw a bomb here and here. Just to look for magic mushroom. Are you a wizard? Okay, so now our shots are doing this, which means we are just going to chill for a little bit. We're, we're literally just going to wait for it to go away. It's a challenge run, and I really don't want to have to repeat it. So, lovely weather today. Also, I've mentioned it in uh, the most recent Hermitcraft video, which you've probably seen by the time this video comes out. It all depends on... Uh, there we go. It's all done. Uh, there may be a very short break in Isaac, uh, just for a few days. My mom is coming to visit from uh, Wisconsin all the way to Tennessee, which for those of you who do not live in the United States uh, is 
basically the equivalent of dropping uh, of driving from like the northern side of the UK to like the most southern part of the UK. Like it's quite of a it's quite a trek. Um, and she's coming down to visit for a few days, so I'm gonna be taking just a couple days off of YouTube basically to you know spend some time with my family. So don't panic. It's not the end of the world. Speed upgrade, I'll take it. We're kind of getting to the point now. Oof, yeah. Things are starting to get a little rough. All we got to do, though, is make it to the Satan fight, and we'll be okay. Yeah, I don't know. It all depends on how much Isaac I can pre-record. I'm going to try and have enough Isaac pre-recorded that there will still be daily Isaac, but that's a lot of... That's a lot of Isaac. It's like a week and a half worth of Isaac. Because I'm recording this like a week before you're going to see it. Okay, now we need to be a little bit more careful here. Okay, yep, 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 yep. That was close, but we did make it. Uh, I was a little more aggressive there than I probably should have been because I knew that we had a bunch of red hearts sitting on the ground. I just didn't think we would get down that low. <laughs> but we'll go back and collect these red hearts. There we go. All right, we're back up to full. Although full is only five hearts, so... Eh. Um, second secret room is probably here. It's not. I got no idea then. Unless it's one of these rooms that we haven't visited yet, but in that case, I just don't really care. Okay, on to the next floor we go. And we basically are just going to kind of hope we can make it to the Satan fight before we die. And that the Elge's rune will, uh, you know, carry us through. Oh, that was a dirty rotten trick. And I think there is actually a reasonable chance of that happening. Okay, Steam Sail does nothing for me. Okay, I'm too slow. This is the problem with these enemies. You cannot see them. So you have no idea if you're hitting them or not. And that's no good. Uh, okay. Oh, we got one explodey. Ah, dude. We've taken damage on every single room so far, which is just not great. Okay, secret room can't be there. It could be here. It is there. And it's just bombs, unfortunately. Okay. So this is probably our boss room. Or our, our direction to the boss room, I should say. Maybe? Any tinted rocks over here? No. No. Yeah, no tinted rocks. Okay, that's fine. We're basically relying on Monstrance and Sacrificial Dagger to do most of our damage right now. Which is... Oh, you got me on that one. That's fair. Okay, that one I slightly disagree with. You caught me by surprise. Uh, let's check here for a secret room. Here for a secret room. And here for a secret room. None of the above. Okay, this is a little spooky. We're going to have to be a little careful, but I think we'll be okay. Thankfully, these enemies are not... Like, these guys are pretty predictable. So as long as we're patient, we should be fine. We just need to make it so they can't get at us from too many angles. There we go. Then I'm going to drop a bomb right here. Thank you for the heart. Are you a wizard? We're not interested in. We're definitely feeling the complete lack of damage that we hit. He does a full heart. Okay. That's a lot of damage. But now we're up to decent damage. Now that we're in Babylon State, even though I don't actually want to be in Babylon State. careful. Like, the advantage is that now we're speedy. Ooh, yep. And we're dead. Ah, so close. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. 
Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.